Our next lesson, we want to take our rules that we've learned so far about converting from one base to another base, especially base 5 to base 10, base 10 to base 5, and now be able to apply it to, can you take any base number and convert it to any base number? The reason I put question marks here is it really doesn't matter which is which. The rules still always work the same as far as multiplying to get to one, dividing to get to another. So for instance, 2, 1, 2, base 3. Let's say I want to get it to base 7. Well, how do I get this into this? It's tough to divide this out with base 7 place values because when we do division, we have to have it in base 10. So let's quickly convert this to base 10. And then we'll convert it back out to base 7. So I need to underline place values in base 3. 1's, 3's, 9's. 9 times 2. 3 times 1. 1 times 2. 18. 3 and 2. 18 and 5 gives me 23 in base 10. So I have 23 in base 10. And now I want to end up in base 7. Base 7 place values, 1, 7. 49 would be next. 49 is too big to fit into 23, so I can erase that. This is going to be a fairly small number. So I can do base 7 place values into 23. 7 goes in 3, 21, subtract and get 2. Take my remainder over, next place value is the 1. 1 goes in twice, subtract, get 2. I know I'm done because I have a 0 as a remainder. I've covered up all my place values, I'm done. 3, 2, base 7. So take your initial, your starting point, multiply out place values times digits, add up to get your sum. Your sum is your base 10 number. Take your base 10 number, divide it out by your outgoing bases your outgoing place values. What you'll notice is the smaller the base, the more digits you'll need to represent a value. I hope that makes sense because they're smaller place values. The higher the base, the less space you need. This is converting one base to another base. Good luck.